What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 apps that every medical person should have, whether you are a nurse, nurse practitioner, a PA, a, uh, whether you're a pre-med, medical student, and also, especially doctors, uh, these are 10 apps that you can download to your phone uh, today. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. So here we go. So 10 apps that you can have um, uh, in your phone. Uh, so the first one is Medscape. Medscape is a, it's a app, it's a free app that you can download. You have to s sign up to their, um, on their website or through the app, but it has any type of condition that you uh, want to look up. Say for instance, we want to look up uh, something in cardiology, uh, para, para, periocardial disease, patient comes in and has symptoms, and you think they have acute pericarditis, uh, you can look on here and uh, it tells you a little bit about uh, pericarditis and it shows some EKG tracing, uh, tracings here, some typical uh, signs and symptoms, uh, how to diagnose it, like you have to look for uh, diffuse ST elevation, and medical students, that's a buzzword, on your exam, if they, if they say diffuse ST elevation, uh, you should be thinking pericarditis. Um, and then how you treat it, some laboratory uh, workup, and usually treat it with NSAID. So this app is really good, and I refer to this a lot, um, even as a orthopedic surgery uh, resident. Um, if you're working in the ED, say for instance, you are a paramedic or you are an ER tech or ER nurse, and a patient comes in, and they are obtundent, you can't figure out what's going on with them, and then you find a couple pills in their pocket, and you, you don't know what those medications are. So they have this pill identifier here where you can put in the shape, say for, for instance, this oval um, uh, medication, the color is red, um, and the form is a capsule, and it tells you, it gives you results here, um, and these are some of the medications that look like that. So you'll just match it up and say, for instance, that patient was um, at these pills in their pockets here, um, the gesturon, uh, P2. Uh, so this is a quick way to um, figure out like what a particular pill is, even if it, if it doesn't say what it is on the pill. They also have some calculators which is really helpful. Say for instance, you're in the ICU or the ER, you wanna calculate a patient's anion, uh, anion gap. Uh, their sodium is 140, let me see, 140. This doesn't wanna work, well 120, chloride is 20. Let me see. It's, um, but uh, you get the point. So um, lots of different um, calculators, the CHAD score for a patient with atrial fibrillation and whether you need to treat them with aspirin alone or with um, some type of um, stronger anticoag. Um, so lots of different um, calculators on here. So Medscape is a, um, is a pretty good, a really good article or app. Uh, visual anatomy light, if you're going into surgery or if you're going through your surgical ro rotations as a PA or an NP or even a medical student, uh, you need to know your anatomy. So this app right here is really good. You can zoom in, um, learn the different muscles here uh, in the arm, and it tells you the uh, different muscles. Uh, let's go back. Uh, the respiratory system, so for instance, you're studying respiratory. Uh, this is the left upper lung. This is the uh, thyroid cartilage, and down here is the diaphragm, uh, the skull. So lots of different ways that you can um, uh, study your anatomy with this app here. Uh, so I thought this was a pretty helpful app that I use uh, in uh, medical school. So the third app is um, essential skeleton. Um, especially if you want to go into orthopedics, you got to know what bones are. You got to know what's the name of the bones. Uh, so this one is pretty, uh, pretty cool because you can spin this around here and look at the back of the hip. You can rotate it all around, look at the ribs, if that's 
uh, look at the uh, bones in the hand. Um, so this is a uh, pretty cool app here. This app is free as well. Uh, the next one is Neural Mind. We are in your ne neurology rotation or neurosurgery rotation or spine rotation. Uh, these have a, this app has a lot of classifications. Uh, that's the way we communicate in medicine via classifications. Um, so this has an epilepsy uh, classification, or if you uh, are doing some trauma, um, like the dentist classification for sacral fractures. So zone one, uh, zone two, zone three. Um, these are some questions, some pimp questions that you may get on the award. So this is a good app to have as well. Uh, the next one is Multiplier. This is uh, mostly for people going into orthopedics. Say for instance, a patient comes in with a, a fracture of their leg and uh, we wanna figure out how much growth they have remaining or how much of a difference their legs will be after they finish growing. It's called limb length discrepancy. Um, and you can put in their date of birth, their age, and it will give you the, uh, their leg length discrepancy uh, and kind of suggestions of what you should do. Um, say, for instance, a patient will have five centimeters of leg length discrepancy after they're, they're done growing, uh, so you could do this procedure here. So this is mainly for orthopedics or those who, uh, so maybe some podiatrists, but uh, this is a, uh, it's called multiplier. The next one is Hippocrates. This is a must-have app. It's a free app. You download it, and I was actually using it today. So let's let's look up um, what I was doing earlier. I was trying to give a kid some uh, Tylenol with codeine. He was uh, I believe six years old. So I was looking at the pharmacology. So you can put a medication in here, and you can look at the dosing. Uh, a patient if they're between 24 to 35 pounds, uh, you give them one tab. PO, which means by mouth, every four hours, PRN, which means uh, as needed. Uh, so any medication that you can think of, let's put in labetalol, which is a medication for high blood pressure and, uh, and uh, mostly for high blood pressure. Uh, so the dose, uh, 200 to 400 milligrams, PO by mouth, BID, which means uh, twice a day. So this is a really good app. I use this app on a daily basis because I have a lot of medications I, that I do uh, write for for my patients and I may not uh, know the dose form. Um, this one also has a pill ID. You can actually take a picture with this app here and um, it'll tell you what that medication is. Um, it has some other features like some lab values, uh, which you have to upgrade for that particular one, uh, some tables. Um, different diseases uh, you have to upgrade with that one also so um, so this is a really good app if you're on the wards as a med student or as a PA or NP this is a good app to have the next one especially here in San Antonio a lot of people speak Spanish and I speak muy poquito español so that that was probably terrible uh, I'm sorry <laughs> if I offended anyone but um, I know enough Spanish to do my exam so this app here um, it breaks it down by different systems. So trauma, if I have a patient in the ER and I don't want them to move their head or I want to say, hey, what happened to you? You can push this button here. Estaba usted. And this app will kind of speak it out or you can actually try to speak it also. Cuando empezó. So like your chest pain, where did it start? Um, um, the Dolor el, pe uh, el Pecho. Um, I can't speak Spanish. Sorry, it's that, that was terrible. I, I should not do that again. Está embarazada. So this app is actually free. They have a other another uh, one you can upgrade to. Uh, you can remove the ads for three dollars. But this is a must-have. I need I actually need to move use this app a lot more than I usually usually do. But um, it's called uh, English Spanish I S H or type in E N S G. The next app is called G Flash Pro. I used this in medical school and it, it uh, basically saved my life. Uh, it got me through medical school. This is a great app. I just took a, a exam for a portion of my uh, medical license. So I used this to um, study for the exam. 
Um, in orthopedics, we still have exams. So those are little small details that I want to get down. Um, you can go to an Excel sheet um, on your computer and then type in the question in one column and the answer in the second column. And then what you do is basically upload this. So you go here to the add sign and then Google Spreadsheets. It will take you to your Google Spreadsheets and then you can download um, that Excel document. So say for instance, for this is for oncology. Um, these are note cards that I made and you can, it's easy because you, you have this in your phone. You don't have to carry around all of those um, um, business cards so or the uh, note cards, which can take up a lot of space. So uh, trisomy or a translation of uh, X18, that's uh, synovial sarcoma, um, rhabdo, myosarcoma. So just little small things that you want to remember right before the exam. So. Like I said, I use this uh, to uh, study for my exams, uh, even to this day, so. All right, so the next one is uh, MedCalc. So this is a, another app that is free, and if you wanna calculate a patient's water deficit, uh, you can put that in here. Uh, if you want to calculate their um, ABG or interpret their ABG, you can uh, use that for uh, use this for that as well. Um, lots of other different uh, calculators that you may need, like on the, the uh, floor. Uh, calculate a patient's uh, GCS, which most people just do in their head, but um, that just tells you how um, sedated someone is or how uh, injured they are. Uh, we use that in the ER a lot, so this is a good app as well. And the last one is Lab Values Pro. Uh, this gives you the normal lab value. So for a patient who comes in and the nurse said, oh, the patient's sodium is 120. Like, uh, I know what that is, but if you wanted to look up the normal value, the normal is 135 to 145. So that tells you that patient's sodium is low. Um, if you want to look up renal values, um, like the uh, PCO2 or creatine, bicarb, let's look at some cardiovascular ones triglycerides, like I don't know what the normal triglycerides is, it's 35 to 160. So this, this basically tells you kind of uh, normal lab values. Um, so I thought it was a pretty good app to have in your phone. So these are the top 10 apps that I recommend. Um, Medscape, Anatomy app, Essential Skeleton, uh, NeuroMind, Multiplier, Hippocrates, English, Spanish, G Flash Pro, MedCalc and Lab Values Pro. Um, I hope this video helps. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I will put the links to these apps in the description. Make sure you check it out. All right, we'll see you next time.